What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading, uh, oracle card reading for sign of Leo. This is the name if you have Leo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Maintain energy for your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Uh, free general oracle card reading for June of 2022. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,980 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Girl 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do, I do, I do. Um, real quick, I was going to tell you while I'm shuffling out. I did a hashtag mean drop. Um over the past few days so there are many 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 memes they're on the community tab if you're interested in viewing or sharing or liking or what what have you what have you or not viewing um you can share them with your friends your frenemies your neighbors uh social media if you want blase 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 okay i like them hopefully you would like them as well okay so we're going to get started. I did receive a few channel messages in as I was meditating on your energy for June of 2022, Leo. Now, um, there are some other signs that I already did June of 2022 readings for. Um, those would just be bonuses. I'm going to, I think I'm going to do all 12 today. Just saying. Okay. So um, the channel message I received, uh, one of them was a more mature look coming was the first one the second one i heard um a leo already has taken on a more mature look and the third one i heard unexpected large amount of money is about to come soon for um one leo one leo it's in an unexpected um settlement court settlement one it is a payout so you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, that's beautiful, whoever that's for and how that resonates. So one of you guys is unexpected payout. One of you guys is an unexpected court settlement. Um, one of you guys, a more mature look is coming. So I think you're about to change your look um, and make it more mature in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, I think that's physical on your body or it could be aesthetically. Maybe you're going to... Um, change up your hair or your makeup or if you wear makeup or um or your dress or something on you um for some of you guys is there you've already had a more mature look uh one of you at least one or two of you guys is about to take on a more mature look so we have money in here unexpected money in here some in an unexpected court settlement some unexpected payout and more mature look energy um, we are entering uh, June, which is coming on summertime, just saying. But there's nothing wrong with uh, more mature look energy. Not at all. I mean, not at all. Um, and there's definitely nothing wrong with some unexpected money. Um, whoever this is for, this isn't like illegal shiesty dealings like street side. So this is really awesome. I'm just saying. Okay. So I'm going to use several decks for the Oracle card. Anybody that's been watching my channel a hot minute, you know this. I use several decks. Oh, yep. Spirit messages you have sound Leo. Boss babe energy and boss dude energy. Boss babe and boss dude energy. That's what I just heard. Boss babe and boss dude energy. So one of you guys, you've either taken on the boss babe or boss dude energy or you're about to. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug the messages in, how they resonate for your own life. If they do resonate, because this is free reading. So one message may resonate, two may resonate, two plus may resonate, none may resonate. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. But at least two of you guys out in the universe, I feel one masculine and one femme, you're about to take on some kind of boss, boss, um, feminine, boss S type energy. And for some masculine S type boss energy, boss babe, boss dude energy. You go with your bad self. 
A particular cancer is very, very, very pissed at you. Know this. For some a Taurus. For some a Libra. Okay. I heard for some of you guys, a particular Taurus, a particular Cancer, and a particular Libra is very, very pissed at you. Know this. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, they're pissed at you for some reason. Um, what, why are they pissed at you? I don't know. For some, a Pisces. They're about to be exposed in a lie in a huge ass way regarding you. And for some of Pisces, um, they're about to be exposed in a huge ass lie regarding you. So for some of you guys, it's a Cancer. For some, it's a Taurus. For some, it's a um, some it's a Cancer. Some it's a Taurus. For some, it's a Libra. I feel they can be masculine, masculine or feminine. Cancer, um, Taurus or Libra. For some, it's a Pisces and um, masculine or feminine Pisces. Um, I heard this Pisces are about to be exposed in a lie soon regarding you. So um, you plug that in, how that resonates. They have lied on you in some shape, form, or fashion, and they're about to be exposed. For some, it's a Scorpio. For some, it's a Scorpio. Wow. So a lot of people piss you in here. But I think it's because you're exposing some kind of truth, or you already have exposed some kind of truth. That's what I'm feeling. For some, if you're low vibrational, I mean, you have to plug yourself in. Are you high vibrational or are you low vibrational? Do you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, integrity, or do you not? So you have to plug yourself in the scope where you fit. But if you're high vibrational, they're pissed at you because you're exposing truth or you have exposed truth or you're doing you, honey, boo-boo, in a positive manner. Now, if you're on the low vibrational scale, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, maybe for some, they might, should be mad at you. But only you know your story, not anybody else. Some it's a Cancer, some it's a Taurus, some it's a um, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Pisces. They're about to be exposed in a lie, and for some, Scorpio. So it can be masculine or feminine. Any of these, they could have any of those, and there's some memorizing Venus, North Node, Ben Hamer, Jupiter, Charles. We have September, Lion, time to act. Pat, you will be playing a different role. I think this is the boss babe or boss dude energy for some of you guys. I feel for some, you just started a business. Um, or you're about to. That's exactly what I'm feeling for some. And or for some, maybe your business is growing. And maybe for some, you're adding on another business. Spirit message is here. For one Leo, an alcoholic is going to drunk test, text you soon. It would not be smart to interact with this person. They have done nothing but cause your life strife in the past. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard for some of you guys, an alcoholic is going to drunk, drunk text you soon. I heard it would not be smart to interact with this person. Um, because they have done nothing but caused your life strife in the past. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, however that resonates in your life there, Leo. Um, some kind of alcoholic energy. I feel they can be masculine or femme alcoholic. But whoever this person is and how they resonate. Um, I heard they've done nothing but caused your life strife in the past. So strife is misery, um, basically. They've done nothing but be miserable, um, cause you misery basically, um, like kicking you down, kicking you when you're down, kicking you when you're up, kicking you when you're sideways. I mean, just not being good for you, a good person in your life, however that resonates. Um, but I heard they're going to try to, they're going to drunk, at least for one of you guys, they're going to drunk, drunk text you soon. It wouldn't be smart to basically interact with the person, but of course you have free will and you can choose to do that if you want to do so. For some, you could be dealing with a swan, um, a swan, a swan. An air sign or earth sign, if you are, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, Hamer, or Jupiter charts, if you are. Or for some, you could have that in your chart, possibly, because um, we have swan energy and raccoon energy. Also, number 47 could be a very significant number in one's life, possibly. Number 47 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life, number 47. 
We have swan, raccoon, September, lion, time to act, hat, you'll be playing a different role, the thinking woman, and book. And one Leo is about to get a surprise phone call soon. An investigation has been done, will be reinstated into a company to open up options. Wow, that's beautiful. It is about to really piss off a family member. Know this in a huge way. Okay, I heard for one of you guys, um, you're about to get a surprise phone call soon. So it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. Um, I think it's it's from this company, somebody in this company or the investigator. Heard an investigation's been done on you. I think for some, you were wrongfully terminated in the past is what I'm feeling. Um, an investigation's been done on you. It sounds like it's already been done or it's being completed, how that resonates. And I heard you're going to get a surprise phone call that you're go going to be reinstated back into the company. Um, so you can transfer and relocate out from the toxic site, facility, et cetera, et cetera, that probably wrongfully terminated you. Heard it's going to make a family member extremely upset. So, um, one of your family members obviously does not want you to do well. And obviously one of your family members wanted you, um, to be stuck. They wanted to be stuck and stagnant and, um, but that's not their life. It's not their life. It's yours. So you plug it in how it resonates. Swan. About to really, really blossom very independently. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I heard about to really, really blossom very independently. So swan energy, you're about to blossom very independently. This reminds me of, um, what is that children's book? Um, with the uh, ugly duckling. It reminds me of the ugly duckling. Um, you know, swans, when they're, they are very young, they are the ugliest little things ever. And that's just the damn truth. So I feel for some, um, maybe you were bullied or harassed as a child. Maybe you wasn't, um, you wasn't very good looking. Um, and maybe for some, even as a teenager or young adult, I mean, depending on your age, but I feel you've blossomed, but you blossomed for some, it could be aesthetically beauty wise for some, it could be intelligence for some, it could be both, but how that resonates, you have really, really blossomed, um, about to go, I mean, about to really showcase your independence. I compare this to the ugly duckling, um, children's book, the, you know, the ugly duckling aesthetically, as a little duckling, it's very ugly, but they grow up to be a beautiful swan. Um, and people's viewpoint changes of them. Of course, that's just aesthetically, but they end up being beautiful, but they were bullied and harassed so badly <laughs> um, that they like earned their stripes. You know what I'm saying? I feel for some that could be the energy of you possibly, only you know you're starting out anybody else, but However that resonates, where you, whether you were bullied or harassed in the past, either as a child or an adult, or et cetera, et cetera, you're really about to showcase your independence. I'll tell you that. I feel for some, you've um, gotten out of toxic relationships, or you're about to, or you're just getting out of something toxic, or you already have. For some, it could have been an air sign that was a contributing, contributing to the toxicity, or it could be an air sign that's helping you um, gain your independence, um, or an earth sign. How that resonates. But this is your energy of really blossoming, um, whether it's physically, mentally, or both, and really becoming very independent by yourself. Right, Coon? Super spies. Some, you intuitively already know this. Some, you're about to have a huge wake-up call and realize this. For some, it is your neighbor strong. Oh, my Lord. I heard super spies. Some, you intuitively already know this. Sorry about the noise, um, you guys. My fridge is, it's not, well, it's not doing that no more. I'll show y'all. It's right here in my spirit room because I have to, um, I 
need to hire a contractor to come out and knock my wall out because it's too big to fit through the frame. And I wanted it knocked out anyways for aesthetic purposes. I wanted to build something very creative over here. So, but that's, sorry, my mask, that's not very good. So that, if you hear it go, mm, um, it's that, okay? Just let everybody know, I'm sorry. But yeah, so, um, so you're about to, um, super stalker energy. For some, you intuitively already know you have super stalkers. For some, you're about to have an intuitive spike and realize you have super stalkers. Um, I feel this is your super stalker energy, um, the raccoon energy, because um, raccoons, they are very sly. They're very sly and they're very nocturnal. And for some, they could be super spying on you at night. And I didn't hear they were, but for some, they might be. Um, I think they're taking on the raccoon energy with the super sleuth as not nocturnal, like don't want to be shown, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky as type of energy, and um, spine on your ass. For some, you already know they are. For some, you're about to have a huge intuitive spike and realize that they are. So I feel they're taking on the raccoon energy. It could be an earth sign spying on you. For some, I feel it might be. Or it's Capricorn Virgo energy. For some, it could be any other sign. For some, it could be an air sign. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. The spying is about to hugely backfire on one of these people very soon. They're about to be called out and, and mortified. Oh my God, I heard the spying is about to really, really um, backfire on one of these people. They're about to be called out and mortified. Mortified means extremely embarrassed. So it sounds like somebody else is about to call one of these super stalkery, lurkery people out very publicly. And I heard it's going to spot, um, embarrass the hell out of them. For some, I strongly feel it's an earth sign spying on your ass towards Capricorn Virgo. For some, it could be somebody else. You plug it in, how it resonates, man. Woo! Heard for one of you guys, it's your neighbor. So I would be careful because one of you guys, the super sleuth, is your damn neighbor. And that's just the truth. September. A particular Leo's life is going to look completely different by September of 2022. About to make huge positive changes there. Very smart positive changes. Well, this is beautiful, man. You plug it in, how it resonates. So one of you guys, I heard your life is going to look completely different by September of 2022. Um, you're about to make huge positive changes. Huge. Um, so some kind of huge positive changes. Kind of like me getting this very nice ass fridge and about to knock out my wall to fit it. Because um, I'm keeping the fridge. Just saying, just saying. Um, I got a really good deal on it and it's really freaking nice and I'm keeping it <laughs> just saying. Um, but I, that's just an example for me. I can only speak on myself, but whatever the huge positive changes are for you, for one, it's, a, it's going to be relocation, a, a really prominent, lucrative job offer is going to come through many series of chain events out of your current location relocation bonus for one is going to be very, very, very worth it. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. For one of you guys, it's going to be out of out of your current location travel. Physical moving travel is what this is. Um, and that's how your life's going to look completely different um, in three months. Because for June now, July, August, September, that's three months. Um, I heard it's going to be very lucrative, very worth it. And basically it's like, it's not too good to let go, but it's very, very, it's so worth it. It's going to cause you to, to do it is what it sounds like here. Um, I heard it hasn't come in yet. I heard through many series of chain events, it will. So however that resonates for you, for one, it's going to include a relocation bonus. And relocation bonuses are the bomb.com. I've never had one. Um, I've never been offered something outside of my area. Um, I would love to because... Y'all all know I'm saving up to move the hell out of this toxic ass community, but 
But however that resonates, it's going to be very worth it for you. And I think that's how one of these, um, that's how this is going to um, positive, positively change your life, look completely different in three months here. Because our September 2022, we got the September card. Um, for some, an air sign or earth sign could be involved in making this happen for you or not, however that resonates. Um, but that's really, really beautiful energy. Um, this is positive energy here. For one Leo, they will get their kids back by September, some by July, some by June. Okay, well, a lot of custody battle energy here. So some of you guys are going to get your kids back June, so this month, some July, some September. It sounds like you're in the middle of a custody battle. It sounds like a lot of you guys, at least three in the universe. So this is like next three months energy is what I'm feeling here. I heard some by June, some by July, some by September. That's three months, September. Um, congrats to whoever that's for. But whoever that's for, I feel you're high vibrational and there's no reason to not give you your kids back. For some, you could have lost custody. For some, you could be in a custody battle. However, that resonates and applies in one's life. You plug it in how it resonates. And one very low vibrational um, Leo is about to be in the middle of a custody battle. They never thought they would be. Fire sign energy. They will lose custody. Sun energy. Oh my Lord. You plug it in how it resonates. And one very low vibrational Leo. It could be masculine or femme Leo. Maybe for some of you guys, you know this Leo. Um, you plug in and how it resonates. Um, it's one very low vibrational Leo in the universe, either masculine or feminine. Um, I heard an air sign. I'm, not, I'm sorry, not an air sign, a fire sign. A fire sign is about to take this Leo. Aries Leo Sag is about to take this Leo, um, excuse me, to court. Uh, it sounds like to fight for custody. I heard of a son. So, uh, excuse me, I think it's their son. Um, and I heard um, they will not win. They will not win. I heard they're going to lose custody by September. So um, something has happened, I think, to cause this fire sign um, to take this Leo, low vibrational Leo, to the court of law for custody battle energy. Um, I'm feeling emergency, like pin day light hearing energy here. And I'm not a lawyer. I'm just saying, but I've had a lot of life experience with legal issues. Um, I feel it's probably emergency hearing, um, pin day light is my presumption. I'm not saying it is, okay? But I heard by September, they're not going to have custody. So I think they're going to lose. Like, I don't even think they're going to have rights. Um, abuse. Abuse. Oh my God, I heard abuse. Abuse. Okay, so there's some kind of abuse going on there. But this fire sign is about, I think they're about to prove abuse in some shape, form, or fashion. They most certainly are, and it's about to piss them off in a huge way. They most certainly are, and it's about to piss them off in a huge way. Okay, we're moving on. That's terrible. I think one of you guys knows this low vibrational Leo is exactly what I think. Um, I heard by September 2022, they're not going to have custody. I don't think any custody. I mean, I, I mean, of course, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a judge. I don't work in the legal sector. I'm disclaiming that. But if this person can prove abuse, how the crap? How, how, how can they maintain custody? And I'm just being serious here, you know? That's terrible. Lion, time to act. A particular Leo is going to get communication. One to ask to write a statement. One to be a witness in a trial soon. It will be explained to you why. Very important lawsuit. Oh my Lord, you plug it in, how it resonates. And that could be that you will be playing a different role as well, possibly. Uh, for some of you guys, you're about to get communication. For some, um, I heard you're gonna be asked to write a statement. So I think statement for, for something um, regarding whatever the crap it is. Statements can be used for a million different things. So whatever, that's 
whatever the statement is being made for, but somebody's about to come to you, it sounds like, and ask you to write the statement on person, people, place, family, situation. For one, for one, you're going to ask to, um, you're going to be asked to, um, I heard be a uh, witness, a witness in um, some kind of lawsuit. Um, I heard it would be explained to you why. Um, so I think the time to act is them coming to you and asking you this and you acting as far as writing the statement, if you agree to do so, and you being a witness. Um, if um, I'm feeling like on the stand interview, I like a physical witness in this trial, if it comes to that, if it doesn't settle out. Um, if it comes to that, but action energy, I think on their part and your part, oh Lord, for some, this could happen in September, whether it's settled out of court or it actually goes to court, possibly. And one Leo is about to get communication from a police investigator soon regarding a child pornography pedophile ring. This Leo was not involved with it. It was for some your ex, for some someone you were connected to in the past. Providing information. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Um, child Ooh, child pedophile ring. That's just disgusting, you guys. For some, I heard it's your ex involved in this ch child pedophile ring. For some, it is someone in your past. Sounds like a police investigator is about to contact you soon, Leo, to ask you to provide information. So action as far as providing information, if you have information. I mean, for some, it really all depends on who you associate with. And that's just the truth. You know, that's why I don't associate with damn near nobody. Because people in my toxic ass city, they just straight up fucking crazy. And that's the truth. So um, action here as far as providing the police with information on this child pedophile ring. Um, it's not you. It's either your ex, masculine fem ex, or somebody of your past. And for one Leo, you will end up winning full custody because of this. You were not involved. And for one Leo, you will end up winning full custody of this, uh, full custody, you were not involved. So that's wonderful. So that could be the, you will be playing a different role as far as, because we have a lot of custody battle switching coming up in the universe. Some of you guys in June, some July, some, um, some September, we skipped August, um, some June, some July, and some uh, September, I heard. Yeah, we skipped August. I mean, I didn't hear August. Maybe for some of you guys, it is August. Um, but this is switching roles. Like, for some, you could be, um, I think you have joint custody or you have no custody. Um, and you're about to get full custody for some. For some, you could have full and switch to joint or um, or no. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So we have one low, low vibrational Leo in here that's about to lose custody. But there's some kind of abuse going on. So that's how I feel this could go in one aspect. The other aspect, I feel, um, well, let me see if I hear anything else. Oh, the different role as far as witness uh, writing the statement or um, be becoming a um, witness if needed in the court of law um, in that lawsuit, how that resonates. One Leo, you're going to get offered a very lucrative position, very lucrative position of high authority. The person and people that are about to offer this to you know you're going to do great and you will. For some in your current location, for some relocating. 
Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Well, that, that's different. So uh, different role is position of high authority. For some, it's in your current location. So your current city, town, province, et cetera, et cetera. For some, it is a different location. So I'm feeling that's the relocation energy for some. Um, I heard whoever, for some, it's I, I feel it's like boardroom energy discussing this about you. For some, it could be positions of, like manager, bosses, CEOs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, supervisors um, discussing this. But I heard they know you're going to do right, great. So um, different role. I don't think you've ever been in a position high authority, whoever this is for, and you're about to get offered this. So that's wonderful too. The thinking woman. A particular Leo has a very, very, very je jealous and spiteful sister. They are very, very, very up in their head about you. Know this. For some, it's a very jealous and spiteful baby mama of someone you never even dated. Oh my God, whoa. So you plug it in, how it resonates, man. So jealous and spiteful energy here. This is this is weird, creepo, psychotic vibes. And I hate to say that, but it's the truth. It really is. This is like weird, creepo, psychotic vibes. And I'm just being for real, for real. For some, it's your own sister, I'm feeling. Now, it could be half-sister, full-sister, or just somebody you consider a sister. I heard sister. And for some, it is, I uh, heard a baby mama of someone you never even dated. And I heard baby mama. I didn't hear, like, girlfriend. I heard baby mama. So, for some, it is your sister, whether you consider her a sister of full sister or a half sister for some it is a baby mama of someone i heard you never even dated so but she's all up in her head the thinking woman jealous and spiteful energy of you um like obsessive lurkery creeper stalkery and that could be this person for some of you guys with the raccoon energy and i'm just being for real for real for some it is an ex-co-worker for some, it's an ex-co-worker. Dear God Almighty. So for some, it's an ex-co-worker. For some, it's a sister. However, you that resonates with the sister energy. And for some, it's a um, um, baby mama of someone you never even dated. So that that hopefully they go get some do some healing and shadow work on themselves and they quit concerning your life with them. Because it's not going to help them to grow and heal themselves if they're stalking and lurking and, lurking and concerning their every consuming their all their day stalking you and that's just the damn truth and another high vibrational feminine energy is about to get a huge wake-up call about a particular feminine leo about to create positive series of chain of events for her huge wake-up call okay so you plug in how it resonates well that's a good one so in this aspect, it's not psychotic behavior. It's positive energy here. It's a high vibrational feminine energy. I didn't hear a sign on her. She could be any sign. Um, high, high vibrational activity here for this feminine energy, uh, whoever she is. She's about to get a huge wake up call on you, Leo. Whoever you are, if you mask or in Leo, you plug it in how it resonates. But, and I heard she's going to create positive series of chain events for you. So the thinking woman upright in this aspect, she's contemplating some kind of She's contemplating basically enacting some kind of positive series of chain of events for you. Um, and she's high vibrational. So she treats people honestly, trust, respect, morals, values, and integrity. But she hasn't done it yet. It sounds like she's going to for at least one of you guys upcoming. For some of you guys, it could be the recommendation of this position of high authority energy for some. For some, it could be something else. You plug in and how it resonates. Book. No, a particular cancer was really trying to profit off the secret seven in the past. For some, uh, for some, another Leo, for some of Pisces, for some of Libra. However, through many series of chain of events, they're about to have severe writer's block. And it's going to continue when it comes to the secret seven. Whoa, I heard secret seven. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Somebody's trying to profit off Secret 7 through the means of a book, basically. 
and trying to write a book on the Secret Seven. Now, anybody knows I have the Secret Seven copyrighted through tarot readings, but that's the only thing I have it copyrighted through. So, I mean, they could write a book on their experiences of the Secret Seven, but they're not Single Mom Leo. Um, Single Mom Leo really needs to write the book, i.e. me, on the Secret Seven, because I'm the one that had to endure all that shit. And that's just the truth. Um, it's a lot of signs in here. Um, or any other single mom Leos or single dad Leos or single whoever that had to endure a freaking hidden camera in your home and getting gang stalked and black magic and blah, 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 blah. I mean, I'm the original, but there's we're a ton of you guys. And I'm not discrediting you guys at all because I definitely am not. Because trust me, I had to endure that shit and it was rough as hell. I know it was rough as hell on a lot of you guys, okay? But my point is somebody's trying to profit off of the Secret Seven and they were not, it wasn't done to them. I don't think they had the hidden camera in their house. I think they were the lurker through the hidden camera. I think they were a gang stalker. Um, and it sounds like karma is about to come around on them. I heard through many series of chain of events, they're going to get severe writer swap. They're trying to write a book on this. I heard Libra, Cancer, Libra, Cancer, um, hold on, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, There was some other ones. You'll have to go back and check it. Libra, Cancer, Pisces, and there was others. But I heard they're going to get severe writer's block. It will not end up panning out at all. It will not end up panning out at all is what I heard. It will, so I don't, I don't think they're going to. Oh, and another Leo. It was another Leo. Cancer, Pisces, Libra, another Leo. I think there was another one. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But Art is not going to pan out, so I don't think they're going to finish, finish the book. Or if they do, it's going to flop. Um, and I'm just being real, real. Because really, they can write on their experiences, or they can make up some shit. The thing is, is until you really experienced it, you I feel you couldn't really put the heart and soul into the book. Because you really wasn't gang stalked. You really didn't have black magic uh, thrown at your ass. You were probably the black magic wielder, these crazies. Um... I think the negative karma in this aspect is the writer's block coming out about to come on them. Writer's block because they want to write a book and profit off the Secret Seven. Wow. And someone is about to get the book thrown at them in the court of law. Know this. Water sign energy. Okay. You plug it in how it resonates. And know that a water sign energy is about to, I already get the book thrown at them in the court of law. So this is the book getting, you know, not literally getting thrown at them, metaphorically speaking. It sounds like you're about to get justice, Leo. Regarding, or either you're going to get justice regarding a water sign or somebody else that's taking this water sign to the court of law is going to get justice. But somehow you're connected into this water sign. Um, I heard the water sign is about to get the book thrown at them in the court of law. So they are about to get justice served to them, the book thrown at them, boom, in the court of law. Wow, holy crap. For some, you could be the Leo about to throw the book at them in the court of law. Possibly for some. Um, if you are a lawyer, I'm uh, not a lawyer, I'm sorry. If you are a uh, judge, possibly. I didn't hear you were, but possibly. But it's not you. It is a water sign you were connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, you could be the opposing lawyer staff, um, you know, um, throwing it, you know, getting the evidence. Blase, 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 and pull, pull, putting it to him, uh, him or her. I heard it was a, I didn't hear if it was masculine or feminine, him or her. You plug it in, how it resonates. And through many series of chain of events, a particular Leo is about to pick up on a, on a book. They have put it off for a long time. The creative juices is about to really flow. It's going to be very popular once it's completed. Know this. You're a wonderful writer. Wow. 
Okay, so, okay, a lot of book energy in here. So we have people trying to profit off the Secret 7. They're going to get writer's block. Another Leo, you've already started a book. Now, whatever book that is, it could, I mean, you could be a Leo of the Secret 7. Um, I know I have started a book with the Secret 7. I already have, but I had to put mine to the side, too, like this. But, um, but however that resonates, you have already started a book. Whether it, it could be anything, any freaking thing. But I heard basically you were basically meant to write it. I heard you're a very, very good writer. I mean, it could be anything. It could be a cookbook. It could be any freaking thing. Um, a how-to, what, what have you. But whatever it is, I heard you were basically meant to write it. You're a very good writer. And I heard it's going to be successful whether you think it's going to be or not. For some, I feel you could be in your head thinking if it's going to be successful, thinking if you should put your time into it. Um, but I'm feeling you should. Of course, I'm not telling you what to do. But if you feel you resonate with that particular message, um, I would because you were meant to do it, whether you know you are or not. So time to act, um, finishing the book, if that resonates for you. Wow, that's really beautiful. A particular Leo is about to really start traveling more soon. It's about to really benefit them. Okay, I heard a particular Leo is about to um, really start traveling soon. It's about to start benefiting them. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I think we're done. All right, you guys, I love you guys so much. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and I hope this helped. If you think it helped anybody else, or if they would like my channel or the reading, please feel free to share my readings. Love you guys so much, and namaste.